What's going on Lead Gen Beast? Matt Tosho here, Leads for Locals. In this video, I'm gonna do a go high level tutorial of how to build a really powerful, high converting email template using the HTML builder inside of go high level. So if you're looking to increase the results of your email marketing, convert more leads into clients, customers, etc., this is definitely gonna be a video you wanna watch. So stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's dive into this tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to build an awesome email template inside of Go High Level that uh, is designed to convert your list into clients, uh, customers, more traffic, whatever it is. This email template works awesome, and we're gonna be using the HTML builder here inside of Go High Level. And real quick, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like, it does help the algorithm, and make sure you subscribe, come out with the stuff all the time. All right, um, so this has been an incredibly frustrating experience for me, and this is why I wanted to create this tutorial because I finally figured out how to replicate what I use typically use an active campaign because uh, the the template I use in active campaign works really really well so before I transition from camp uh, active campaign over to go high level I want to make sure that we're able to create basically the same exact thing we use in active campaign fortunately now this tutorial is going to show you exactly how to do that and uh, hopefully save you a ton of time and frustration because uh, it's been really really frustrating uh, fortunately once you know how to do it it's actually pretty easy all right now uh, the first thing I want to do is show you what this template looks like, and then I'm going to show you how to build it. All right, so I sent a test email to myself, okay, and this is what it looks like. All right, uh, and this is the template I use all the time. It works really, really well because it, it makes the email just more visually appealing. Uh, people also love clicking on images and buttons and all that stuff. So if you're really looking to uh, get more traffic, more conversions from your email marketing, this is a great template to use. Top here, uh, we always go with the logo. That's great for branding, obviously. And then below that, we have another image here that has a call to action to the next uh, step within your funnel, whatever that is. And you'll see here, we put a button on it uh, as well, because again, people love clicking on buttons. I'll show you how to make this in a second. Next, we have bolded text. Normally the first name would be in here, but uh, I forgot to put a contact. Uh, it's like a test contact inside of Go High Level. That's why that's not there, but normally that would be the first name. This bolded text right here just kind of acts as a headline. It separates it from the rest of the text. And again, just makes it easier, excuse me, easier to read. All right, from here, uh, it's just basic, uh, normal, whatever you would normally say in your email. And then uh, a couple of emojis as well. Again, just uh, adding that visual appeal, breaking the the, the big uh, pieces of text up, things like that. Down here, we have a button. Again, it's the same call to action to the next step uh, within the funnel. People love clicking on buttons. We've got an emoji pointing at it. Uh, it's just been proven many times, uh, just testing different uh, campaigns and stuff that this is, this, it, it does increase your click-through rates. Uh, down here is normally where either my picture would be if it was my campaign or my client or whatever. This is just a test, obviously. And then it has your name, title, and company. And then just some basic like privacy policy stuff here at the bottom. This template I've been using for a very long time. It works so well, guys. I can't even I can't even describe it to you. Uh, it works really well. Anyways, that's uh, that's the template. How do we actually build this? All right. So there's actually a couple of ways you can build uh, an email inside of go high level i'm going to show you what i prefer and what's the easiest way that i've seen so far and uh, it's great because you can save them as templates right uh, so you can actually create it inside uh, inside of like uh, when you're creating your campaigns uh like your email campaign or whatever right so if we were to go to campaign and so uh, you'll see here i have my email campaign right here I'm tired of moving myself around here. All right, so if we were to add uh, an event, let's say right here, uh, and then email, okay, it's gonna bring up this uh, like basic stuff that you, but it, like the, the main thing here is that, that you can choose an email template, but this is so much harder to use, uh, at least when it comes to designing the type of email I'm showing you how to create here. So don't, don't use this, I uh, really don't recommend it. What we want is under marketing, HTML builder, all right? And the only thing I don't like about this so far, aside from it being a, just so frustrating to learn how to do this, um, which it's gonna be so easy for you guys now, now that I know how to do this, but you can't duplicate these templates. So the unfortunate part is that we have to keep uh, creating new templates every time we wanna add a new email. We can't save like the logo, the image, the button, all the customization that we do, we can't save that and use it in another template like you can an active campaign. That's the only downside so far. But 
you know, uh, so I'm going to put a feature request in for that. But anyways, we're going to click on new template here. All right. It's going to bring up uh, the, 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 like the standard templates that it uses. And fortunately, it's pretty close to it actually ended up being pretty close to what I use in active campaign, but uh, with just a few minor changes here. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of this text. So we're going to click it and hit the trash can sign. And then we're going to click on the table cell and delete that as well. So now our image is centered. This is going to be the logo. You're going to double click. All right. Um, obviously, just click here to upload your logo. Uh, I have mine right here. And then so you click it, click out of it. All right. Now. What we want to do is click this and then up here at the top, see this little brush, uh, like a yeah, little paintbrush looking thing. Uh, we want to click on dimensions here and then see where it says width auto. We're going to type in 250 and then click out of it. That's usually the size that uh, that I use, but because uh, you don't want the logo to be too big. All right. But adjust it according to you know the size of your logo. Anyways, next, this image right here. Uh, we're going to create this inside of Canva. I'm not going to, this is not a Canva tutorial. Uh, fortunately, they have some really good templates that you can use. Um, I'll show you really quick just the basics of how to create that, uh, that type of image. Um, I always use a 650 by 200 for that image, all right? So if you're in Canva, you click on create a design. Down here at the bottom, it says custom size. Click that. You're going to type in 650 by 200, okay? And then create new design. And then... Uh, I'm just going to show you how to create the button really quick. So like, uh, see how our, this image, it's got our call to action, but then a button right here. I'm going to show you how to add that button really quick. It's really easy. Um, just save you guys uh, some extra time because this is an important part of the email template. It really does help increase your click-through rates from your email marketing. It's really powerful. All right. I'm just going to choose a random template right now. Uh, you know, Put some effort into this or just go to fiverr.com and have someone make it for you, whatever. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how to create the button in uh, on your image, right? So I'm just going to choose a random template here, all right? Obviously, you would customize your text, whatever your call to action is. Um, normally, what we want to do is click the text and ungroup it to start, okay? Now, let's say we want to choose, we want to turn this text right here into a button. All we're going to do is click on Elements. All right, down here where it says Shapes, you're just going to choose the square. And then we're going to resize this to fit the text, however big you want your button to be. All right, line it up, drag it over, and you have a button. That's it. You can change the color if you want. I usually do change the color, put some contrast into it. Uh, and then, you know, you may need to position the the, the, the square element, uh, you know, forward or back, depending on the text or whatever. But that's it. And then you download it, and you're good to go. You have your email image, okay? So let's go back to Go High Level, which also, guys, if you don't mind, I'll have a link in the description for a two-week free trial to Go High Level. It does help support the channel. would appreciate you going through that link uh, if you don't have Go High Level yet. Anyways, moving on. All right, so now all we're going to do, again, click right here. All right, we're going to double-click, upload the image that you just created. I have mine right here. All right, we're going we're gonna to click out of it. Now, here's something you have to do because if uh, here's what you'll notice is that if we click on the image, um, there's actually nowhere to to place a link. All it has is alt text. This is where you place your link, this uh, little settings button. So how do we actually turn this into something clickable? Because we can't just have a button here. We need to actually link it to something, right? So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to click right here. Uh, this brings up like all the different elements that you can add to this template. We want the link block right here. So we're going to drag this right next to our image. All right, see that little box that just showed up? Now we're going to click our image and we're going to drag it into that link box right here, just like this. Okay, so now we have our image, but right over here, just barely to the left, see where it says link? We want to click that and then scroll up back to our components. And now we can, uh, we can put our link in, uh, which would be... You know, maybe it's your appointment calendar or your questionnaire. Maybe you have a survey, whatever it is. You paste that link to that funnel step, whatever that is. You paste that link right here. And then the target, uh, well, it's an email, so it's normally going to be new window. But I would change it to new window just in case. Um, actually, no, not window. It's a tab. So eh, honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, I Maybe just leave it. But this window, new window, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I just want to show you how to link it. So that's how you link it. Don't worry. You don't need to worry about the title. All right, but that's how you link that image, which basically turns this into a clickable button, all right? From there, 
Uh, pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to type in our text, uh, our intro, basically our headline, whatever. And then right here, if you click the custom arrow right there, you can put in the contact's first name. And then I like to bold. So we'll highlight this. I like to bold this text, turn it into what looks like a headline. Just makes it more visually appealing. It separates it from the main text, easier to read. From here, uh, you just type in wh whatever your email is about. You're going to type here. If you want to add emojis to it, you can uh, go to mojopedia.org. And then, you know, let's say you wanted those check marks that uh, that I use. We're just going to type in check mark. And you can choose whatever type of check mark you want. I usually use one of the box ones here. So you just click it, click copy, and then go back to go high level. And let's say we wanted it right here. You just paste it. That's it, right? So it just it helps to break up longer pieces of text and just makes your email more visually appealing. All right. So that's that part. Now, I want to show you, this is really important. This is what was causing me so much frustration. Watch this. All right, if we click this button, uh, I was trying to figure out how do I change the button color? It should be pretty easy, right? If we click here and we scroll up, we go to back to the paintbrush. All right, well, let's get rid of all this. Now, if we go to decorations, right? See where it says background right here? If I click this, nothing is happening. Right. I'm, I'm clicking on all these different colors. Look, the button's not changing. And for the life of me, I could not figure it out. Even when you push OK, it does nothing. It doesn't make any sense. Here's what you do. These stupid little class things right here. Get rid of them. That's all I got to do. <laughs> I can't tell you how much frustration that was causing me. Uh, because it's not just for the button, it's also for this right here. So we wanted to, uh, normally I make this uh, this uh, this text right here uh, a font size of 16. So if we click the uh, dimensions, uh, is, it, uh, is it, no, it's topography, I'm sorry. Font size. It's not, it's not doing anything, right? Even though I'm changing the font size. But when we do this, get rid of classes. Now... It magically, it magically changes the font size. Uh, I don't know what the point of that is, but it doesn't seem to affect anything other than my insanity. So, or my sanity. I do feel, I did feel insane doing this uh, for a while. Anyways, all right, so let's go back to the button here. So that's how you adjust the font size of your text. Now we're going to uh, change the button color. You can change this to whatever you want, whatever your brand color is, I guess. Uh, we'll go to, uh, so it's under decorations background, and then we're just going to click right here. I usually like doing some kind of like a bluish color. Um, click OK, and we'll just leave it at that for now. And then you can double click in here, change this to whatever your call to action is. And then you can also put that uh, pointing right emoji. If we go over here back to emojipedia.org, type in pointing right, backhand index pointing right, click it, click copy, come back to go high level, and then just paste it in. Did it work? There we go. And uh, maybe a space in between. And that's it. All right, that's, uh, that's how you create your button. All right, next. Uh, I usually get uh, I usually get rid of these links right here, like the phone number or an email. You can have that if you want. I just, you know, for testing purposes, I just got rid of it. But you can uh, adjust that if you want. Uh, I usually just keep it like this. I'm trying to backspace. There we go. And then obviously change this to your company. Uh, it's 2021 right now. So we change that. Now, how do we add our picture and our title right here? Because this is really good for building trust and developing the relationship. It, it's, it allows people to put a face in an, uh, to the name and the, the company and the email that they're getting. Like uh, when they're able to see you, it just builds a lot more trust and rapport. It makes them see, you know, you're a real person, right? So it's really powerful. So what you want to do is again, we're going to click on our table grid stuff, whatever, uh, elements, whatever. All right. And we're going to, so this three by seven section, we're going to drag that right here. Okay. Uh, and then right here, we're going to use an image. We're going to drag that into the left part of the table. So, and then you're just going to upload a, a headshot of your profile picture, maybe from LinkedIn or whatever, make it professional. Obviously you're going to upload that. Um, I have just a test one that I got from Canva right here. All right. So I'm going to use that for now. Uh, Miss Ashley here. And then uh, we're going to do a text element as well on the right side of the section. And then you're just going to, Oh, maybe not I'm trying to double. There we go. Your name, your title, your company. And if you want to add any additional information, maybe a phone number, website, whatever, it's up to you. And then obviously, uh, again, what we want to do 
is if we go, so we're, we have our text uh, elements selected here. If we go back to the paintbrush, all right, fortunately this one doesn't have classes on it this time, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's make this a little bit bigger uh, for this. Again, I usually do 16. And then to get it towards the bottom, I just you just hit enter a couple times at the beginning here. So let's get back into the text. Three times is usually good. And that's it. And then what you want to do is click save. I'm just going to save this as a test template. Click save. Okay, and then from there, to put this into your email campaigns, we're gonna go back to campaigns. All right, I already have mine created, but you would create a new campaign here. All right, um, I'm gonna go to my email one. Oh, I forgot to show you how to link the button. I gotta show you how to do that too. But uh, we'll do that here in a second. Uh, from here, uh, I, I can actually just uh, edit my previous email. And then right here where it says pick a template, it's gonna show up now. And boom, there you go. You can send a test to yourself. It doesn't look like this on mobile. Uh, I already tested it, but you know, just send a, a quick test to yourself down here uh, just to make sure that it's good. And then you click save. Uh, well, you've got to put your subject line in, of course. All right, and then click save. All right, and that's it. That's how you use the HTML builder. It's so much easier than the actual email builder inside of campaigns. Uh, let me show you really quick because I forgot to show you how to link your... Uh, your button. It's actually the same thing as the image that we linked earlier, but let me let me show you just to be safe. I want to be as thorough as possible with this to save you the frustration that I've had to go through for the past. Uh, I don't even want to tell you how long <laughs> trying to figure out how to recreate this template from Active Campaign inside of Go High Level. But I'm so excited that we're able to do it now because it's actually pretty easy. All right, your button. All you're going to do, click the button. I'm going to scroll up, click on components, and the href right there. That's it. And then you could do this window. That's that's fine. Uh, so that's how you link your button. Okay. So uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you use the HTML builder. That's how I, I mean, there's so many different things you could do with this, this type of email if you want, but this is the exact email template I use in all of my email marketing for both myself, my clients, everything. It works really, really good. Highly recommend you guys use it. So uh, if you don't have Go High Level and you want to create emails like this, please go through my link in the description. It does help support the channel. Give the video a like if this was helpful and leave any comments down below if you guys have questions, if there's a certain part of Go High Level you want me to do a tutorial on because there's a lot of different things. Uh, and I am going to be coming out with more tutorials on Go High Level because this thing is actually really awesome. So make sure you subscribe, but leave any comments if there's something specific you want me to do. Okay. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I hope you're crushing it out there and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care.